Let's, uh, whatever time it is, let's uh, bring the meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is uh, the prayer by John Mason. Okay. <laughs> Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you at this time and ask for your blessing and guidance in the matters at hand and ask that you would clearly show us how to conduct our work with a spirit of joy and enthusiasm for the betterment of our brother and sister seniors in Hubbardston. And this we humbly pray, amen. 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 You know, uh, I've got an announcement and we're starting the meeting off. This is my last meeting as chairman. Oh. Uh, well, I'm going to be 90 years old on my next birthday, which is not that far away. <laughs> and uh, uh, I owe it all to neuroenhancement. And I, if, if that's too complicated, go to uh, Walmart to some place and get one of their products. Prevagen is great. Really? Works, I'm huh? on a committee with uh, uh, a brain surgeon. He's the chairman. Uh, and then uh, he called and recommended another one, and I, I've been using that ever since, and it's even better. Wow. I'm remembering things I, I'm saying to myself, where the hell did I put that? Of course, I put it right over there. And, uh, and what is that? I'll put a name yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is the name of that? Uh, it's called a neuro enhancer. Neuro And uh, I can bring in a bottle and take a look. I gave it to Ed, uh, somebody else, uh -huh. and uh, we was having trouble remembering his route, delivering the meals. He knew the name, he knew the place, person, but didn't know how to get there. Oh, wow. And somewhere in his own yeah. neighborhood. Yeah. So I gave him a bottle and I told him, when this is up, I'll talk about how I got a lot more bottles than I, but it was first recommended by Dr. Ben Carson. You heard of him? Yes, mm -hmm. I have. Yep. The great guy. Oh. He's just put out a <coughs> book too, I'd recommend you read it. He grew up in a, uh, in the ghetto in Detroit, mm -hmm. and his mother would not allow him to get into the groove of where the gang bangers were in Detroit mm -hmm. and stuff. And uh, he's one of the top brain surgeons in the world. Mm -hmm. He's the only one to ever uh, se separate co-joined twins who were joined at the head. Oh, wow. And uh, they're both doing fine. And his brother is a nuclear scientist, hmm. a mother that wouldn't say, you know, I'm going to go along with the crowd here. Mm -hmm. and, and, yep. and it's That's it's great. The second person I meet from Detroit that way, I met one in the service, a doctor, who came from the same area. Anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, we're just chugging along here tonight, but but I need to, t I need, I find myself saying, I don't want to be nailed down to a certain time I have to be somewhere. Oh, okay. That's a big thing. That sounds like a reason to quit. <laughs> like, what do you <laughs> say? Right. Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's time. Well, I've you've been done your Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And I've been blessed. Yeah. I've met a lot of interesting people and uh, still meeting them. Uh, so. I felt bad. I, I thought maybe I would stay in here till Skip comes back, but I think Skip has some medical problems. Mm -hmm. And he's a great guy. Uh, we've worked together on a lot of other things. And I thought the least I could do, and I, you know what his history was. Uh, I can't think of anything worse happening to me to have one of my kids pass away before I do. Mm -hmm. you know? yep. And that happened to him. And, and he, hmm. he was his best friend beside you know. Uh, so I came in here and Claudia asked me to come and uh, I came, but I'm leaving with a much better uh, perspective than I had beforehand. Uh, got great volunteers here. This place looks great. Uh, I tell every senior that comes in here for the first time, this didn't cost the town a penny, you know. Mm. Uh, another vision I had when we were going around looking at senior centers, everybody had a friends of the senior center. I said, why don't we? And uh, that's how come we got that started. Mm. And um, so I'm really, I'm 
positive that this place is in good shape. I, like everybody else, when I heard at one of the dinners, somebody say, uh, we ought to have a great fundraiser, the lady that was working here today. Let's have pie for breakfast. And I said, <coughs> I said to myself a lot, and I said, John, don't be too uh, presumptive. This might be a good thing. For a diabetic, no. <laughs> <laughs> now we have quiche. Yeah. 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 So anyway, it, uh, like I say, I'm, I'm looking at people, and there's so many people that can do this job, and it doesn't have to be a man. Just because it, they call it chairman, mm -hmm. could be chairwoman or chairperson. Mm -hmm. And uh, you got a lot of positive leadership here. It's great. Don't ever feel sorry that you're leaving. We appreciated everything you did. Mm -hmm. Well, absolutely. I'm sorry that yeah, I'm absolutely. leaving. I'm just, no, I yep. just Because we love you. I, well, mm -hmm. I'm glad yep. you're you. entitled. Yep. There's a, exactly. a point in time, man, I'm starting to see as I get older. There's a point in time when you just say, I don't need any commitments. I have enough. I just want to do what I want to do. You're not right. there yet, Ken. No. <laughs> Not there yet. No. <laughs> okay, Susan. Okay, Susan. I'll, I'll remember that. Good thing I know. Um, but you're entitled, and I. Well, and I think, I think we respect home, we respect uh, your decision. I was on the uh, Memorial Day committee, and I was working on the the brochure for the program, and somebody said, instead of a bifold, why don't we make it a trifold? And I'm saying to myself. You don't know what that means. That changes everything. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the meantime, my brother is in a nursing home. He had a stroke. Then he was in Mass General. And I want to go more often than I did, but I went every week or so. And uh, he passed away about three weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry. And he was my last sibling. Oh, wow. And I'm the oldest of four uh, kids, mm -hmm. so I'm saying to myself, how much time have I got? I've got <coughs> loads of grandchildren and great-grandchildren and kids, so and they're mm -hmm. all great. I'm very proud of them. And it's like the uh, UN at my house. Um, <laughs> if there are yep. every race and you can imagine, including uh, African-American, Hispanic, uh, Taiwanese, yep. and the last <laughs> one is Korean. Her father was adopted by a Christian couple in New Hampshire before he was a year old, huh. and uh, he's married to my granddaughter. And they had a little, <laughs> little baby uh, Korean now. So wow. <laughs> that's great. So anyway, it's it's been a great life, and but it's time for me to step back. And and I'm used to being <laughs> up front, and I talk a lot uh, because I've had to. to Keep everybody's attention or whacked on the side of the head. <laughs> I'm glad you don't do that. But, yeah. uh, that's it. So, again, it's been a pleasure working with you folks. I just want you to know that. There I'm happy is. to say it on TV because this is all volunteer work. Yes. Except for Claudia. But thank God we've got somebody that's working here that yes. has Absolutely. seniors in mind. I'm very concerned that this time, that's the thing that bothers me, how seniors are going to make it. I was looking, listening to a farm lady from out west who, uh, to fill her tractor with diesel every other day, costs over a thousand dollars now. It's crazy. Oh, and yeah. it's going to have to affect the crop. And uh, mm -hmm. she raises the transportation. Yes. Yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what to say. It's, I'm worried about the seniors on fixed income. I'm worried about the uh, country. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Uh, What's going I'm on? I'm trying to do things in that respect, but mm. uh, you have to respect people's ideas. I had a, uh, I spoke at an event and I talked to a Chinese fr friend uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, I knew his political persuasion. I said, how do you think Biden is doing? I didn't make any, he said, I think he's doing great. <laughs> I said, oh, okay, Peter. And I walked away. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how you can say that. I mean, I feel bad. I think the man is being used. But, uh, 
This shouldn't be a political thing, by the way. So right. I'm, I'm going to drift off of that. I well, think, I think it's it. all political, John. I really I, do. Because the thing is, I went to, ta to town meeting. I, don't know, I asked the town clerk how many registered voters we have in town. 30, I think she said 35, 51, something like that. that. It was 34 or something. Yeah, yeah. and, and um, they, only, they only had like 150, 180 votes at the election. Yeah, it was number 11. Yeah, yeah. and I mean, <laughs> the apathy in this country yeah. Where nobody gives a crap. It's really troubling to me. Uh, I was on election this, this wasn't week? a normal election. No, there, there, was, nothing. there, was, there was nothing no, on it. There, there, was, there was nobody there against was anybody. No. Yeah. Mm. My That's concern just, is that yeah. there were no applicants for a number of positions. Right. So that's yeah. just even yeah, worse. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, uh, anyway. let's get down with business. Okay. okay. On the minutes. Minutes. Let's read the minutes. Okay, I have that. Um, from our May 18th meeting, we opened at 6.35. Present was chairman, uh, Chairperson John Nason, Vice Chairperson Flo, Secretary Mel, Treasurer Ken, Board Members Bill, and Director Claudia. Not present were Board Members Nancy, Bonnie, and Pat. Oh, God. No, COVID. Um, oh, right. Prayer was led by John. And the secretary's report was presented by Mel for um, the for 2022 meeting. Motion to accept was flow, second bill, and the motion passed unanimously. Treasurer's report was by, given by Ken. Supplies account balance $1,049.18. The sum of $800 was transferred from the service account to the supplies account on 4-22-22. Service account balance of $462.60. The gift account balance is $26,728.97. Formula grant balance was $3,707.13. GFA grant balance was $639.50. Discussion um, about a volunteer dinner to come out of the formula grant. Golden Age and Friends have donated Okay, this is a separate thing now. Golden Age and Friends donated $200 towards a Memorial Day celebration. Um, and the motion to accept was made by Mel, seconded by Flo, and it passed unanimously. Um, business in general was that there were out each calls were being made by Nancy, Pat, and Mel. Concern about rising price of groceries was discussed. Teresa Thompson of Henry Haywood Hospital and Alex from Al Mock as well as donations from Price Chopper were discussed, and Ken was to contact Teresa Thompson. Quarterly town board meeting was held on 5-11-22. Nancy and John represented the COA. Memorial Day celebration was all set for Claudia, ready to go. Woo Sox game update, <coughs> Bill recorded a tentative date of 6-15-22, which has been changed. I don't think it was ever that date. Well, actually, that's a mistake. Today, today, is it today? today that's yeah, today. no. John, it was, June twenty fifth. It was always going to be June the twenty sixth, twenty fifth, or twenty sixth. Well, looks like it's the twenty sixth. He's got to. No, that's what we've chosen. Do you want me to change that on here, or what? No, no we can this change is what for we next. Talked about last okay. meeting. So. All right. CO meetings will continue. COA meetings will continue on the third Wednesday of the month. Our next board meeting was scheduled for June fifteenth at six thirty. Motion to adjourn was Ken's second bill. The meeting adjourned at 7.40 p.m. Respectively submitted by Mel Shamsi. Hey, do we hear a motion on the minutes? Motion, motion to, to accept. accept. Yes. Pat? Aye. Second by Flo. All, all in favor? Aye. 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 Ken? Okay, you have the treasury you report. This is as of today. Um, we have in the supplies account a balance of $793.23. In the uh, services account, we have a balance of $462.60. In the formula grant, we have a balance of 
532.99. Um, in the GFA grant account, we have a balance of $439.50. And saving the best news for last, in the gift account, we have a balance of $26,878.97. Any questions of the treasurer? Any questions about those balances? Uh, were they, were well, I'm just going to say that Claudia and I are going to, we're going to have met, we're going to meet a little bit, and I will be uh, submitting some more bills okay. uh, between now and actually now and Monday, which is the last day we can get them in for the, this final pay okay. period. And as long will, as the bills, we can get them in in July as long as they have a June date. invoice date. Oh, okay. So they got to have the invoice, mm -hmm. and it can't be too too late. You know what I mean? Right. I think we got one more voucher before. No, there's a 26 is it, I think. I'll look in the file. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's a 27th. I is don't think the so. Is this the 26th? Yeah, no. this was the 26th. Next what? time. What? Huh? Today's the 15th. I know, because I got yeah, but the va yeah, but I, I'm <coughs> early. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. I'm early because of my scheduling. But the voucher date is the 20th, right? The payment date is the 23rd of June. That's when so, they're going to pay him, but the voucher date is the 20th. So right. So then we can, we can, we can do bills to here and then we have to pay him um, July, whatever that is, July 1st or so. Well, I will, I'll look in the schedule. I have yeah. a schedule in the file. So we can do that. Okay. Whatever. We're going to make sure that, Claudia and I are going to make sure that whatever needs to get paid, we'll get paid. And we need to get a, okay. a Any supplies. other questions of the treasurer? Do I hear a motion? A motion, yeah. The treasurer. Right. Seconded. Yeah. Seconded by Flo. Yep. All in favor? Signify by raising your hand. Aye. 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 Opposed? No. Unanimous. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Business. Review outreach effort. And is there a report? Who is there an outreach person here? Vaughn? Who's on the outreach committee? Um, I think it was Mel and I. You mean calling other people? Yeah, and just checking to see how they were on that list. Um, Maybe Bonnie thought too. No? Yeah, I, I was yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. And they had made some calls. Yes. Oh, I did too. I haven't done any recently. Yeah, we haven't done any. Re uh, both of us haven't done it recently, but we did do it initially. It went very well. I was on the phone for an hour and a half with one gentleman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was good talking. Lonesome, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it was good talking. Very good talking. So, I mean, I think that's good. I don't know what other uh, outreach we can do. I think the whole thing which we started mainly during COVID was to just um, try to call them maybe on a monthly basis or, right? I mean, right. Yeah. I know you can't always make sure they're going yeah. to eat and make right. sure they got yeah. see if they need sick anything. Or medicine or anything. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I try to make myself available. I, I finally saw uh, one of our seniors in here today. I tried to reach him, but uh, I used the 411 method. I don't have the oh, senior my senior center yeah. method on my computer anymore. Um, but I saw him today in here, and I said, uh, how's your wife doing? And she's okay. She didn't break her arm like people think. She might have had a slight fracture. And uh, but I make a point to say, if you need a ride anywhere, give me a call. I can still drive. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And I'm happy to do that. I feel best when I'm doing something for my fellow seniors. Oh, I think yes. you feel the same way. Yeah. I've done the um, fuel assistance program. I reached out to two people, uh, our Albert, um, and I've been back and forth with him. And then also with um, another lady, too. Yep. So that's good. <laughs> I think that fuel assistance program is going to have to be, get bumped up in yes, great shape. Yes, I'm hoping. I was at yeah. BJ's a couple of weeks ago getting gas, and the guy right on the same pump on the other side said, I can't even fill my damn car. Mm. He How said, am I going to fill my car? I just, <laughs> right. he says, I have to, the minimum amount of fuel I can get the guy to come out here and deliver fuel oil to is 100 gallons. Yes. yes. And it used to be. You know, a couple hundred dollars. It's now up over six hundred dollars. Right. They can't afford that. No, they can't I don't know what do I'm it. Gonna do. Mm -hmm. And he was in the shower. And then I had another gentleman who worked in Boston, uh -huh. uh, actually the other side of Boston. Right. And uh, 
he said, I'm going to have to retire. I can't mm. afford to run back and forth. Mm -hmm. So um, he lived in Lemonster and worked in Chelsea. Wow. Oh, gee, you yeah. know, just can't. So can't do it. it. That's not it is, good. Yes. You know? Uh, yes. I worry about seniors who just don't have the option of going out and working. Right. Uh, they're on Social Security, nobody's getting rich on that. That's right. So that concerns me. And if I get in the swim or anything at all, it's going to try to be help out in those kinds of areas. Mm. But I'm always available for a ride. Right, right. So can I ask Pat a question sure. about sure. this fuel assistance yes. program? So um, if people come, like, you know, in the summertime, it's not, people aren't using as much oil and right, stuff. But right. um, are, when you deal with the people themselves for yes. the assistance, yes. are they really good about getting back to you quickly? Are they... I mean, is it worthwhile for people to come here, call here, and say, oh, I'm okay now, but I know I'm going to need it in the fall, you know, sure. in the winter? And can they fill out a thing now? They can it's fill it out right now. Right? Yes, it's income-based, and I have the, uh, you have to bring a Social Security card or your 1040 right. form or uh, to prove we'll what you're. Call you. there's right, one, absolutely. But there's still me. a backup, is there? Because oh, I know with backup. this was 12 weeks for our guy that uh, came in, yeah. 12 so weeks. So would we want to put anything in the newsletter sure. about I mean I'm just asking mentioned. about yep. saying don't wait till the fall if you think that you're going to need assistance mm -hmm. for fuel yeah. that maybe we want to get that yes it's so volatile right now you don't know yeah. if the price is coming down but I doubt so we it. could get that in the August newsletter uh, and yeah. would it be good to have a yes. call on a Tuesday when she's here yeah because Pat seems to know I mean we yeah. all know we I brought him down to the Fitchburg fuel yeah sure. I brought him down there but you know we you can't go in there anymore can't go in there no. anymore, and really? we, I used to go in there. Oh, yes. I went in there, took some people down there with them. Right. Um, but you can't go in there now. But Pat is very good with it because she knows more about right. that. And mm -hmm. the other thing is there's going to be more options, I think. I know, like, we, we could get a little help. If we couldn't get anything for the seniors, we can have a backup because I think the police have an account mm -hmm. that maybe. But also I was approached by the Lions Club. Good. And they want to know if, since I work with the seniors, would I be able to um, maybe help them out and how would I handle it if they wanted to give us some money for the seniors to use, maybe if somebody was hungry, if they needed help with their fuel, maybe if they needed, I mean, but the Lions Club and I would work together with it, but if it was going to be here, I think I would make a new account. Mm. You know, yeah, just yes. for emergency yeah. seniors right. yeah. from the Lions Club. So, I, he spoke to me on Memorial Day, so we're going to get together and talk more about that. So, Good. we are thinking about different things in the wintertime coming. We should be prepared mm -hmm. to be able to do something for them. Yes. You know, and you know, it'd be nice if we had, could have a little food basket every now and again or whatever. But, Absolutely. But so, fuel and heat. Yes. You know, we need to make sure that they're at least That's yeah, the big for fuel and, and their lights programs. and their yeah. Yeah. And food. Yeah. And I, I mean, obviously it's yeah. high now. Yeah. And maybe it will go down in the fall. But yeah. that's not even the issue. Okay. Right. The fact right. is, is that so they they need to apply in the summer because yes. yeah. maybe they're they would get, busy. based on today's numbers, that's I'm right. going to make up a number, they'd get a $200 credit. Well, if the price goes down, so they'll get a... Eighty-five dollar credit, but they'll right. still get a credit. It doesn't matter, right? You know, good to get the names. But they, yes. they need to get they into do. the so service. We they we do. If they and you know what the point is, they shouldn't determine. Look, if you think you're going to be, this is what information you need. They'll right. be accepted, Just fill it out, or they yeah. won't. Mm -hmm. But yeah. but do it. You yes. want to urge them. Oh, absolutely. To apply. Apply. Yes. That's right. And see. If they make it or not. So how do you picture the thing? It was so it was a fun for the Lions Club. How would you picture? Would you picture that filling in for like someone who didn't quite make it for the other assistants? Well, yeah, we'd have to review everything, and then, like Pat said, this poor guy had to wait twelve, 12 weeks, weeks, and he had no so. Still, it's still pending. Still yeah, pending. Still pending. Yeah. But the police still jumped pending. in and gave him enough fuel. Because right. that was they in, gave him a hundred gallons, right? Yeah. Which we, thank so. you, thank you so much for yeah. doing that. And the pallets, um, even my husband is going to be taking the pallets and breaking them down because that's a free resource too. If I you have that kit all winter, yes, yes. my fuel pallets. assistance did not come in until like, the last week. Of, of right. March. So the pallets. So you need to apply now, right, Bon? Yeah. 
Yeah, it wouldn't do any harm. I have the application yeah. right here, and I will give it to you. We got some. You I had to call yeah. Westminster to get her applications because we didn't have any, yeah, and no. the, the fuel assistants wouldn't send me any. Mm -hmm. So I have a friend, a director over in Westminster that would help me. Why would they send you any? It's nice. That I, we had very to, hard people to get a hold very of. Very hard. Very hard people to talk to. I had to call our state rep in order for them to jump in and have them talk to, send to me. Send applications. Yeah, yeah. and talk to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's so, another, another issue is that I think they've had a lot of people, as there always is whenever there's any benefits, the cheaters. Mm -hmm. try to, to milk the system mm -hmm. and so the forms they've tightened up on the requirements and they require a lot more paperwork mm -hmm. I know and Dick and I did this this will be the third was the third year I think we were <coughs> eligible and we were going to be getting it and, um, and you know the, the stuff, paperwork you have to find it's is horrific. ridiculous yeah. that's so. why Pat's been good <laughs> I'm how many, how many, how many people have fireplaces yeah, old, I had a wood stove, wood stove. and, and we, right. we, we took my big old wagon here and loaded it up, I don't know how many times, with broken up skids because they had mm -hmm. them all sawed well, up. I'm thinking, I think all of us live enough close to the woods, we know that there's an awful lot of trees because <laughs> That's true. there wasn't enough rain or there was too much rain and the trees fell over and they're laying mm -hmm. in the woods, I can see them from the road. Yeah. Yes. And I wonder <coughs> if that could be a project for a club to oh, cut yeah. up wood and give it to people that need it. People yeah, in need. Yeah. I, I don't want to say just seniors because I know this right, is going to be a problem for yeah. a lot of folks. Well, doesn't the town, so, the trees that they have to take down, don't they have a tile down at the, I have well, no they idea. used to. I know oh, I can, DPW. on the way home, yeah. yes. I can look in the woods and there's all kinds of trees. Oh, and yeah. that's a worry because that's a big problem. In California, mm -hmm. yeah. but, you know, they the haven't cleaned their forests in years and years. Yeah. The other thing, John, is I, I was just talking to a couple in their 80s who used to use wood. And they mm -hmm. have, you know, wood burning stoves and everything, but they can't use it anymore because okay. of her asthma. Yeah, right. So they can't burn wood. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So you have a lot of seniors That's in that situation. Truth. Yeah. Well, so. I know we have somebody here that uses electric heat as one or two in the house mm -hmm. and nothing else. Right. And I'm concerned about it. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. so electricity isn't yeah. going to be cheap either. This no. <laughs> no. No. And that could be your primary source. If you uh, are going to use the electricity in your home, that can be your primary source of heat. And they will, they give you a deduction on your electric bill. Okay. Yeah. So they'll apply it That's to that. That's good to know. Yeah. yeah. You so will get that. Claudia, when you put it in the new, when you put it in, somebody yes. puts it in the newsletter, yes. I would think you would also make, might want to mention that um, if they call or come down here that you'd help them fill out the paperwork. Mm -hmm. It's like what you were saying. I think that's a yes. yeah. huge thing. People yeah. don't want to know. It's hard for them to do it themselves. It is. Yes, it, it is. is. It would be hard for me, Pat. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. making copies yeah. and all of that. Yeah, yeah. So that's we can right. make yeah. the copies. Yeah. We yeah. can go and Pat knows yeah, make the, a file the ins and outs. Yes, yeah. yeah. right. So she's Perfect for you. I've been uh, conversing right. with Deborah Parry, who works at the fuel assistance program. Okay. So that's right, good yeah. too. And keeping a file on the and ones that are. And keep a file also because if those people, if it doesn't come through for them quickly enough, then you can go to the Claudia and the police. Right. Suite, that's right. We know. can yeah. bring out the big yeah. guns. <laughs> <laughs> we the try local not, guns. Right. We try not to bring out the big guns until well, it's Well, anyway, we're, we're, we're doing outreach and I. I, you, you can't do too much by the way. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. <coughs> you know what else? In trouble. Also, we have this fly was just given to me because the lady from Habitat came in here. And they have critical home repair. Mm -hmm. So if we have somebody that has something that needs to be fixed or needs to be done, we have an avenue we can call these people. Yes. Wow. They will help out critical home repair. Yes. I so. can't tell you too how many times the Lions have built ramps here in town. Yeah. Lions yes. are great about yeah. ramp building, <laughs> yes, and we yeah. have we need to grab them. bars and yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. I thought I somebody already had. I you forgot. haven't. Okay. Yeah, you got I'm going to break that down. I was just down. on it. <laughs> huh? Needs it. I was just on it. Needs it. Yeah. Um, you know who uh, Sue was telling me? I'll call. Well, the outreach sounds like to me it's it's live, alive and well. Yes. And, uh, yeah. You can't do too much, by the way. No, you, know, you can't. Because so you never know that person out there that might be reclusive or bashful or whatever, for whatever reason. Exactly. You just got to try to reach them if you can. All right. Next item up for business is the yard sale. Well, we haven't done a, I mean, 
we have the dates and people we are very generous we have more more people mm -hmm. coming in with stuff my thing is right now what we need to do is find somebody that has some extra room in their garage my garage is almost packed Bev's garage is almost packed mm. Sue's starting to put stuff in her cellar we can't pack that anymore and there's no way I'm going to put a tent up there again because that was horrible mm -hmm. so if anybody has a garage area that we could borrow just for a couple of months we can put stuff in there mm. and then we can truck it back over here okay. you know so if you know or if you have some space mm -hmm. we can you know so we don't just throw it in there and right. things get broken right. and stuff. It gets to a point where you so have I to now it. have a half a garage <laughs> full of Andrew's stuff that he said I could bring over here. Oh, <laughs> good. And I was looking so for it over here. <laughs> oh, just right now? We're gonna <laughs> I have a basement, half of which is going to wind up coming up. <laughs> oh, good. So, trust me. Uh, I guess I will. Oh, good. It's, well, it's in my dry I, I, basement, but it's coming here. Well, I'm oh, hell good. high water. Yeah, but not right, not till September, no, right? No, I'll, right, I'll not bring not it over September. on the twenty third. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm sorry. What is the date of that? Uh, twenty right here. Twenty three, twenty four, and twenty five. 25. We'll start yep. setting up on Thursday. Yes, which will be the twenty second. Yes. Oh, okay. We'll put the tents up. Twenty second. Yeah. I wonder if there's any. We set up on Friday. Around. We set up on Friday last year. though. I know. We're only open but Saturday and Sunday, technically. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we, we're open, but we sell a lot. I, well, we sold a lot on Friday. Yeah. That was my point. So my thing is, Thursday after the cribbage, we're going to set this all up because okay. inside we're going to have books and puzzles oh, okay. and pictures and stuff are going to be in here. Mm -hmm. Because it's too damp out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah for that. that don't kind of want stuff, them yeah. to get yeah, the pictures the and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Right yeah. The glassware. Well, the glassware we sold good out there. Really? Oh, that's good. Yeah. So I'm thinking that we're gonna have so many books and puzzles and stuff that yeah. we'll. Yeah. 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 All um, right. Anything so, more on the yard sale? So anybody who has an extra space in space, their garage, yes. we might want to put that in the newsletter. I should ask at the center <laughs> of town when they're building all these. Uh, little places to, for storage. Storage. Hey, could we borrow us? Uh, How much would we cost just, to rent it for two months? Right. It is for <laughs> our senior center. Oh, oh you yeah. know, that would be good for, well, well, if it's, when it's going to be ready, though. Does anyone know when that storage no. is going to be ready? It's yeah. not going to be ready for this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Not, the church. We could maybe the store at the church. the church. Yeah. Yes. Maybe I could ask Mary if we could put some stuff in the church. Yes. Yes. Just remember, know. everything we store has to be moved. Yeah, we have to yeah. move. We have to get trucks and. Yeah. Oh, you're very right. close. <laughs> I don't have any space, I my darling. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, people that lived with me before stuff. I got all my kids and stuff. <laughs> oh, we get to move all that over here. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. Oh, okay. All right. Why don't we uh, kind of keep it uh, in, in the front of our head that if we think of anything? Uh, well, if you think of anybody who has a little storage, let me know. Well, you know what you could do? Is that if, like, people have been coming in, can we, you know, we're bringing stuff in. Tell them to keep it until the 22nd. Yeah, the right. problem is with that, I'm going to tell you right now, the yeah, problem is with that is when you want something out of your yeah. house, you want it out of your house now. Mm. Yep. If you're cleaning, yep. get it yeah. out or I'm going to give it somewhere else. So what we can do is we can stop putting stuff in here. We don't have it. After the 22nd, we can stop packing it up like we do any mm -hmm. other time. You know what? They're yeah. bringing stuff Claudia, in here. it might be a good idea to do a PSA right now for the camera and ask anybody out there that might have some storage that would be helpful for us until the 23rd. 22nd. Yeah. 22nd. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So if you have any space, you can give us a call. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We can put that in the great. newsletter. Oh, that yes, we can put that space. in the newsletter. Yeah. yeah. All right, so yard sale. That's Store done. Oh, I thought it's someone. Donna. Farrell. I know she has a oh. lot of theater stuff, maybe, but she has that big barn. Yeah, maybe she loves the greens. Mm. I don't know if they have an empty barn. But okay, sorry. The volunteer dinner. Yep. I haven't um, really done too much on that yet. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't have anything in my mind. Yeah. Okay. We're not going to mm. do the chicken barbecue like we did before because we don't have anybody to honor. Mm. Who do we honor? Mm. Well, I guess Bill Shays would be a nice one to honor. Mm. But I, I, mm. I uh, you know, well, like we usually do. But just for the, yeah, just, just for the volunteers, we usually just 
to we door did. volunteer dinner. Yeah. Or breakfast or a lunch or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had a nice home. Where we had somebody come in and, and um, make dinner for us. So what was it? The group that you had from Pittsburgh? Oh, uh, Patrick, Patrick, uh, oh, Sean, yeah. Patrick's Sean Patrick's came in and did a, yeah, and did a dinner nice. for us. Yep, they did. Uh, that was good. That was, was good. A number of years ago. Yeah. Yep. If you want to put so that on the table. So we're still working on it. Is that what you think we want to no, do? No, I'm just saying we can table that until we decide what to do with it. But yeah. that's a good idea. I mean, I wasn't here for that, but just having it here and have someone come and cater it. Hmm. That's not that idea. Yeah, so keep it down idea. low. Yeah, we're going to go into a recession, I think. And so, mm. yeah, we're yeah. going to have to uh, tighten our belt, tighten it up, and yeah. do the best we can. <laughs> so we're going to think about that. Maybe we'll we'll mm -hmm. table that for a little bit. Social and informational. <clears throat> so we had the veterans agent came in. That was a huge success. Yes, it, it was. was. It was a Great. huge success. Yep. Yes. She's very. She's. Very very good. She's very good. She very good. She was in the Army herself, serves overseas. Mm -hmm. uh, her husband, the same. I think that's where she met him. Uh, there's still a lot of issues that weren't addressed that I'm sure, though, she can answer the question. Mm -hmm. If she can't, she'll find uh, and the place was packed, which I thought yes, was Yes, it great. was. Yep. She was here till 3.30. She was here when the singing group had started, and she was still working diligently. Really? Yep. Wow. She was here for a long time, so it was wonderful. She's also wonderful. the Veterans Outreach Officer in Templeton. I think that's the only yes. other town she's yeah. got. She was mm -hmm. wonderful. We have a, another, um, and I don't have it right on me. I got a, one for Falls. A guy, a doctor, wants to come in and talk about Falls. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's the yeah. Nurse. yeah. I, yes. I don't know the date. It's, it's on my calendar in the okay. back. I think it's September. Uh -huh. September, October. He's What's coming. the issue? What's he going to talk about? Balls. Falling. 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 Oh, big issue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he's a doctor. Him, two doctors are coming in to talk about that. Oh, good. <laughs> so we have to get that. Um, That's uh, probably the <coughs> biggest problem with seniors. Mm -hmm, it yeah. Is. Yeah. 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 So we have that one coming in. If anybody thinks of anything else they would like me to pursue and get in here, I don't mind. But I'm thinking the summer. We might be just kind of low key for yes. the summer. Yes. Yes. So Claudia, mine was. Um, I never got back to them. Remember, I talked to you. It's when you were in Florida, and I was looking for help for a couple of people who needed homes, needed a place to live. Oh yeah. Remember? Yeah. Yes. And I saw something. I don't know if it was on the website. The might have been on the um, the Worcester County, the Worcester Council on Aging's website or something. Somewhere I saw about this organization and they're out of Worcester. Do you remember I talked to a lady and um, she connected, so she did work with what she is working, he, with actually this guy from that company working with, it's um, one of our people who came here, Judy's son. So anyway, it was, they wanted to come here. Do you remember this? They want to come and do an hour presentation. They want the police to come to. Yeah, what was the name of that? I what was yeah, the I know. See, yeah. I took my head, and I think I mentioned it to all of you way back when. We need bottles of that. I've been doing Zoom back huh? then. We need mm. bottles of that stuff you got. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I, just, yeah. I haven't looked it up. Uh, I haven't looked it up a long time. And I haven't had to deal with, you know, call her. But um, they, so they help people find housing and jobs. Yes. Hmm. As long as the person wants to find the job and wants to find housing. Mm -hmm. They will work with anybody. And it doesn't matter their age. Yeah, but is that that lady that moved into the, uh, moved into Fitchburg? That lady? You got help for her? Joanne? Um, it did not, um, she did not choose to. I sent it through her friend. At that time I didn't have a way to contact her. Oh, okay. So I sent it through her friend. And she didn't choose to? I have no idea. I don't think oh, so. Yeah. But, but the other one did. Okay. Was They're talking our, about putting, uh, Housing behind our place, and it's a it's wooded area right now. The town took it for taxes, and I believe they're going to have um, low-income housing there. Huh. And uh, some people are up in arms, and they're talking about, well, we moved away from hmm. this and that in Fitchburg, and I said, well, I grew up in the ghetto. 
Yeah. People and need a place to live. I telling people right, when exactly. I was working in Boston in law enforcement, I said, you know, I grew up in an eight-family home. I said, it was, and my brothers and sisters would tell you that it was the best experience yeah. we ever had. Everybody yeah. looked out for everybody. That's, That's right. Everybody was in the same yes. position. Mm, absolutely. <laughs> you know? I wish that was going in with our storage units are. Mm, yeah, I'll be back yeah. my house. It'll be fine. I, yeah. I think that would yeah. be a great spot for a little. Well, they can only put three duplexes in there because it's so much wetland. So, mm. uh, now was that in the sheriff's uh, that that uh, program there for housing? <laughs> was that anything to do with the sheriffs at all? Did we pick up that name? I don't know. From I, don't, that. I can't remember where I got from, <coughs> yeah, but I know I, I was wondering. I, left, uh, I, I I'll look that up. I, I think care. I we wrote something down on it. Was Habitat for Humanity or something, uh, and it was it had to do with both. Well, anyways, I'll I'll look that up afterwards. I don't think it was connected with Habitat. No, not no. with the sheriff, huh? Not with that sheriff's because they have so many cards that was. By the way, for a piece of information, the yes. sheriff's father yeah. plays pitch here every time we have it on Friday night. Oh, really? Oh, good. <laughs> okay. Pick yeah. his brain. Yeah. He's a great guy. He's a senior. Doesn't want anybody to know who he is. No. Yeah. So did I write? Did I write this right? Doctor coming in fall to talk about falls. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. In the fall to talk about falls. <laughs> talk about falls. That should be a, a very popular program. Yes. Yes. I hope we yes. get some attention. You know, some people here. Yeah, that the right people come. Yeah. All right. Uh, social and informational. I think we've been talking about that. Yeah. Who's mm -hmm. game? Anything further? No. I just yes. Bill's not here unless you yes, have something. Yes. He called me. Okay. He called me this mm -hmm. afternoon right when I was leaving. Um, to around 2.30 or something. Mm. And um, he was still waiting to hear back from Sharon about the van. And that's kind of an important thing because right now it's only he and I that can, would, I think would be drivers out of the group. And how many do we have on that list? You have 14. 14, okay. So, but I think maybe only 13 because I think he crossed his wife off. No, um, 14 with his wife crossed off. Oh, okay, all right. Um, yeah, so if we have, if anybody else wants to go, or if you know anybody else who wants to go, um, if we have 15, we get a little, we get a little $2 voucher thing for towards food or something. But we still get the lower price of $25 as long as we have 10. $25 a piece? Yeah, that's for the ticket, which is good because it's usually like 42 mm. Yeah, that's um, good. So, yeah, going into, so that's going to be on Sunday. And just waiting for the van, and what else was he... So he was just concerned with he wants to get the tickets bought because it's, you know, it's a week from the yeah. Sunday. It's a mm -hmm. week from the Sunday, but he wants to get the tickets bought. So he, I said, well, why don't you wait till tomorrow and then you have to call Sharon again because, because I'm looking at that, I didn't see any other drivers unless I can convince Mary to drive. Do you, Claudia, see any other drivers on there besides? Because if we don't get the van, the problem is Albert's gone. Mm. My husband, he's one of the drivers. So where's he going? He's on his way to California with my son. Are you signed up to go on yet? I yet? am. I am. So I can drive and Bill will drive. She can't find my name. Oh, you don't know? Oh, I see you. You don't know if you can get the van yet? Right. For that day? I wouldn't. Oh, because you don't know if somebody will give up their Sunday to drive. She's right. Because she just had a drive this past Sunday from, from my group pops, going to yeah. the Pops. Mm -hmm. Which was a wonderful thing, by the way, since we're on social oh, stuff. We yeah. went to see the... Did the driver go talks. to see it, too? <clears throat> yes. Yeah, so he, he saw went the first, first half. Yeah, yeah, first half. Then he yeah. elected to go back to the van and get it and come over because he had to drop, park kind of He was right outside. When we it was came wonderful. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Great, great, great. The show was wonderful. Yeah. Blessed. So, all right. Any other uh, business to come before the meeting? I want to know for sure, because Monday's a day I do this group, the, the senior center. We are closed on July 4th. Yes. Thank you. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't get the husband. bingo. People yeah. want to come in on their own and play bingo. Well, that's that'll fine. be flow. I, I have to go pick well, my husband up at the airport. Don't you want to close on the 4th <laughs> <Yeah>. of July? <laughs> that morning. Coming in on the 4th. I yeah. think you want to go overnight on the 3rd. Yeah. 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 So they, they yeah. closed on the 4th of July. At least I don't have to Absolutely. work. Absolutely. Yeah. I have one note. I have one question. You, you guys have to tell me how much I can spend for bingo stuff. We're going to go over that tonight. Nine hundred supplies. Nine hundred seventy-five dollars. Supplies. <laughs> no, I, I have made that up. Yeah, I had I had an audit because Claudia. How much said we did didn't you know think that you were going to spend for? Well, we're almost out of tickets, so I I know that I'm going to have to. Usually, I order two bunches at a time. Uh huh. Um, but 
I have uh, low on gathers. I usually buy them at Bingo myself, yeah. you know, in Gardner. Um, but I can order bingo uh, dabbers and I can order more papers. We go through them quite often, you know, like we go yeah. through 4,000 like nothing. <laughs> like, <laughs> you don't think we should get the, you think we no. shouldn't get that? No. Not yet? Okay. Only because people are still getting COVID and they, they would, you would be touching them all the time and they'd be, and it's better for the yeah. papers because then they can throw them okay. away every game. Mm -hmm. And well, we have seven hundred and ninety-three dollars so available. So I can order, okay. <laughs> so no, but I mean, if you wanted to order two hundred dollars, which is yeah. way out of what, it would it wouldn't be an be issue. Okay. With my All right. Order. Yeah, but we need to also order supplies. So yeah. So well, if we so yeah. if you order, how how much do you usually get when you order? Two? Well, I I usually get uh, two big bundles. Yep. You know. And, and how how much does that usually come to? Um, forty-four dollars and sixty-four right, cents. Right. Right. Yeah. But so, that's that'll go probably a month and a half. Usually, because um, remember, we'll um, get our new at the end of yeah. July. We'll get we'll start fresh. So we'll, well that's no why money. I didn't order. Because so I'm I didn't thinking, know what you want. If you want to order hundred bucks, you know that way you could get daubers, right? Yeah, and I you could get, get what you need, way. and the papers, and the papers and stuff. Yeah. So if you order like that's all we need, but I you mean, need to order cards. like right away so we get the bill. Right. Yeah. So like, what part been waiting? So you said wait until the meeting. Yeah. Let me know when you order how much it is, because then we can order. Our office supplies, things that we yeah, need. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we got to go through that, see what we need. Yeah, we need yeah, because it is better with the papers because yeah. they throw them right away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so we need, you yeah. know, yeah. every game is thrown right away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so get that flow, and then something. just let me know yeah. what the price is. Okay. And that was what I had to do. Just okay. one more thing I was going to talk about was the deck. Talk about that. Okay, so you know the whole story how Donnie made us a little plan and da 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 da. And we want to get the Arbor money, try to get the Arbor money. We, they Arbor. wouldn't give it to us. They asked us to come back in July for the second round to ask for maybe about 60000 instead of the 30, 60, that way we could use it for other things. And um, so I did that, but then I thought, I got to go talk to Ryan to make sure I'm doing the right sequence because mm -hmm. now we've got the thing I've been talking to Marty Tech Marty Tech call me back Floyd call me back he's in charge of the building and it sounded like great he was really interested in doing it he thinks the kids will be able to do it I spoke to Ryan he's not so much on board with this mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and neither are the selectmen I don't think not that he is wishing us ill will but he has another plan in his head that he'd like to see happen that he thinks he may be able to get it passed. I don't know when. I didn't know. I thought it was going to be at this town meeting, but it wasn't. But he'd like to renovate all, you know, that half and then this half for us and then try to get the police and fire and their own thing. I mean, he's got a plan, which is wonderful. But we all know how that is. We all know how it goes. So I did say, well, I, he asked me if I could wait, and I said, well, I really don't want to wait, because now I've got some people involved. So, yeah. So, anyways, i got to meet with Brian. Ryan was supposed to be here today because Marnie Tech came down today, and the site people came down today. But Ryan is stuck in um, California. He can't get a flight back or something. I don't know. But anyways, they did come down today. And uh, the site guy came down. I have to have all these figures in in July. First thing I have to have is a engineer to design this deck. It has to be an engineer designed. So now I'm going to find an engineer. I did email Donnie. Can't be an architect to design it. Usually, you would think you get an architect to design it. Well, they said <laughs> something about an engineer. Oh, okay. I have to get approval that, by the board of health. I mean, by the uh, new building inspector. Yeah. And then if we but first I have to have this design. So now I'm looking for someone to get the design. Monty Tech right away, when I, I said, I don't know, and, and they kind of pulled back. He said, all right, if the ball's in your park now, you let us know where we're going, if it gets approved, if the building inspector will approve it, if I can get that design made. You know, I now they've pulled back a little bit, and I'm supposed to get in touch with them when I get this stuff done. So that was today. So I did call Donnie. I went to the Board of Health. I mean, I went to the building inspector over there, Mallory, who's leaving. And we have a new building inspector coming in. So I don't know about that. But anyways, um, 
trying to find an engineer to design the deck and then if you design in a it, short they time. And because then they, they don't the okay time, it. Right. We're out all that money. Right. right. That, that's, mm. The engineering takes a very it's expensive. It's a lot of money. I know. Mm -hmm. But we got to have one. But you've got to have, you have the building inspector Yeah, but if you have to have you can, an okay no, first. Listen to me. Really? Mm -hmm. The building inspector has to see the design right, the blueprint, before yeah. he's going to put through Oh, I see that. why. Yeah. Like he's got to see right, right. what he's gonna is yeah. going to be going subject. up there so <laughs> yeah. he can look at it and prove it. He can't say, okay, I'll prove it. We're right. Gonna, what we're they covered by the prevailing wage law here, too. So yeah, gotta, prevailing wage. An engineer that gets for doing and then this if you get, in Boston, you have to pay for that here. And yeah. then if it's over 10, like the site work, if it's over $10,000, we got to get three bids. So, and the site guy said it's probably going to be over $10,000 because you've got to rip up all that. We've got to move the air conditioner and make the ramp to go out. So, uh, and then they're going to rip that roof off and, and put a new one on. the septic in the middle of the driveway? The lot. septic in the middle of the driveway, it's only going to be post, so it only has to be five feet. I don't know. You don't even, they, the designs they have in 1990, you can't even see a cap. It's over there. Yeah. Right. So if it's over there, we shouldn't have any problem with it. Oh. The manhole but cover. But they're not sure where it is. Uh, I guess maybe not. But I don't know. So that would be the engineer's. But anyway, uh, even though it only has to be five feet mm. away, five feet isn't big. It's about yeah. as tall as me. Yeah. Plus yeah. you. <laughs> no, I'm so, quite under five feet. <laughs> That's a fairly so small I'm in job. It. How about the fellow that we had designed the senior center? The one we were going to put up. But we got the land. And we for. don't have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he has the engineers working with him. I know. Oh yeah, but you know how much money that costs us. He's wicked expensive. Yeah. Well, he would be. This, this isn't a full-fledged senior center. It's just a deck. I know. I. That's why I'm thinking there's got to be. So now, if you have, know anybody who's an engineer, you know anybody, I'd love to find somebody who would just donate their time and do it for us. Mm. But I, yeah. I might have. Um, I don't know. They got to get. I've got the preliminary one of kind of how what we want, but it has to be yeah. changed. It has to be you the know, scale it has and to everything be, else. Yeah. Yes. It has to be the scale. It has to be yeah. all. Yeah. This is a guy down the street yeah. from us. That this is a difficult is configuration of here, too. Uh, uh, you know, you if, you're, if it's your home, you could out. just take that top off and, you yeah, know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you could know, just do it. Do your damn deck, you know. Is there any, are you going to be going over the. I have to meet with Ryan again driveway here? Or no, no, we're just going out to the grass oh. and we're going to take that ramp out and put it on the side. That way it'll give us, you know, like... That the, was a good idea because it sneaking yes. everybody and putting them through the, uh, the doorway. Yeah, you know? it can go up that way and then you'll be right under the roof and stuff. Yeah. And uh, now, the, now the new building inspector that's coming now, I had spoke to him before because his wife had said that he was you know, very good at this kind of stuff, and he would let me know, but he seemed to think that, oh, no, we can't do that. We could do a patio, but the thing with a patio is, is it's got stairs, and who wants to call, carry trays? If you can have a little barbecue, you've got your stuff you can mm. carry out, yeah. you know, you've got stairs you're going up and down. Mm. And seniors carry out. Yeah. Who the heck wants yeah, that? You want to just walk yeah. out. Put your little, set your little thingy up there and have your little barbecue or your little whatever you're going to have. I know. Party, whatever we're going to do with it, you know, which I think we will. I think we will enjoy it a lot. But So anyways, I'm in, I'm in a little dilemma here. I'm still trying to work on it, but I wouldn't mind any suggestions. Mm. Um, if anybody has anybody or you know anybody or whatever. So we call it, is this a deck or a patio? A deck. No, a patio, no. I don't want to do a patio. So I don't want to go downstairs. Would be on the ground. Right? ground. Oh, yeah. Patio on the ground. Yeah. I don't want that. So it's still so it's, you want it raised. So it's still you want it raised I want with to a roof. walk out that door and, and be there with a roof. So you're still going to stay. Because in the hot sun, no, so you're, you're going to walk out the door. How are you going to do that? Okay. So this ramp is going where? This side of the building. To come you're into come this up door. Here and, yeah. Come into this door. No, they come into that door. They're gonna choop and come in. Don't forget, it's gonna have a roof on it. It'll have a roof. Mm. I thought the plan I saw, the ramp was out on the side here. Yes. Coming up to this door. No, nope. over here. I still don't picture it. So you got a deck. <coughs> the ramp will go along the side of the building. 
right? Yeah. Yes. Around the corner to the deck. Yes. But she wants the deck up. Yeah, oh. but there's a ramp, so, so it'll it's go up. It's an, it, okay, so a, it's so a ramp. an up ramp, ramp a ramp ramp there's going a, up. It's a ramp ramp. Yes. Okay. There's a rule for ramps, too. It's a, yes, you have to have got to be a certain... Yeah. Yeah. And he said that wouldn't would be a problem. He something. could yeah. do that. All right, I get it. I was going to say, because Mike Sahagan designs... You know who he is? Yeah, you know who he is. Right there. Mike oh, Higgins? The he, he did, yeah, but he designed patios. I don't know if he... You know what I mean? He's got to do it. Put our patio deck. in. Deck. Yeah. But we had someone else put our deck in. Oh, I know. Put deck in. So, hmm. if you look on the, the side, it's yeah. got this is the ramp, this is the deck. This is the deck. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's your ramp coming up. And, and you know what? I mean, I understand that the town wants to redo this building. This is but you're talking about something on the outside on this end. Mm -hmm. All the work that they want to do is over there. Right. Right. Let them do what and they we'll want to do, no, do but they in need five to, years. <laughs> they need to have the money. Oh, no. huh? you want to they need that? to have yes. the money. But we're going to get they the need, money for this. They, they want not. the money to it. renovate. You know? well, but that's their issue. We're dealing with the money <laughs> over here. That's what I'm saying. We're dealing with <laughs> our issue. Let them deal with their issue. <laughs> You know, it's hard because you don't know, and, and I, I certainly don't want to put the dampers on anything. That I know, but yeah, I, I look at it and say, if it cost them 400000 to renovate, <coughs> and it would cost them 430000 if they wanted a deck, let us spend the 30000 or 40000 to get the deck, and let them deal with their 400000 over I there. I think it's going to cost us, <coughs> it's going yeah. it's gonna to cost us quite a bit of money. Okay. The town we got thirty is not here, we're going to go for sixty. And then we got twenty five coming in, and then the friends have some they can offer us. So you think so the deck should be a hundred thousand dollars? I would say, let's plan on that, and if it's less, great. That's quite a bit of money. That's quite a bit of money for I think if what we, we can, want. But yeah, listen, if, if we can get Monty Tech to do it, it will cost no labor. I know, mm. I know. So just the site work is going to cost us over ten thousand dollars right there. Just the site work. I mean, right. Would. That's and you know the ideas here. that Ryan has are great and wonderful. But yes, the they town, are. Our town has always supported education, and our town has now voted down the school budget twice. So if they're going to keep voting down the school budget, they're not going to vote for building a new place. And they're just not going to. They're talking years from now. Right. Exactly. That's my point. We talk. can't. We can't wait well, on their program. We just. We can't. No, I know. He said he's thinking about the. Th future of the seniors. I said, well, we did too, but it didn't work, right? You thought about the future. Our future's future. going away very fast. <laughs> right. I said, John, what John the wants, seniors of today? Yeah, John right, wants right. to enjoy the deck. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not his grandchildren enjoying the deck. He wants, John wants to enjoy the deck. If you can have a margarita or something. Too. Right. Exactly. Let's That's get a one-day liquor license. Well, we we'll beat up on the railing, too. Yeah. yeah. That's right. But so well, I'm working on it. Business, Anybody uh, that can help. Is kind of great. Dragging out. Yeah, the only yeah. other business is Wednesday next week. What's the date of the yeah, next the meeting? So wait a minute. We what? forgot something, Ken. What about you and Teresa? Did you have a call? Did you talk we've, about We've that? traded voicemails. Okay. So right. I haven't. I, I will call her again tonight when I get home. Okay. Mel usually mails these well, out. Well, as we finish, I just want to say it's been fun. Yes, John. Uh, Thank, you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you. You're welcome here anytime, you know. Oh, thanks. Hop in and say hello. Yeah. <laughs> That's an old business. And listen to the meeting if you wanted to. Sure. Right. I'll yeah. see you on cable. So He's the advisory board here. Advisory board member. <laughs> And if there's no further business to come before the meeting. Well, we yes. just haven't decided when's, when's the next, next meeting. Next meeting. Do you want to take the month of July off, or do you yes. want to? Yes, yeah, because of summer, I think that's a good. If you want can. to take a month of July off, sure. And meet in can. the yeah. third week in August. Yeah, no, you can always July. have an emergency meeting. Sure, third that's week right. in August. We're gonna need it in August. You got, yeah. you got a calendar? Yep. August. Uh, 17th. 17th of August. Okay. Third week of 17th. Okay. Okay. One per purchase I would suggest you make is a gavel for the chairman. <laughs> oh, yeah, chairwoman. we had one. A chairperson. Yeah. You're you following up with Teresa. We did have one. Yeah, I think one it's food. over in yeah, the, the um, distribution corner there. 
Really? I think the it skip, is. Skip, skip, we used to use it. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, there's a gavel that Ted, my who works here, here made that up. Be I be think, yeah, I think it's over there. I can check it out. Oh, no. Let me just find it. You never know. Let's see. Does no, Mary else is falling down all the time? Henry, Henry Rourke. His legs give out all the time. Oh, okay. he's been falling so Does much. Does he have a ramp? I don't he know. Gets to use it. We have to check. Him. Him. <laughs> he has a gavel. Are we adjourned? Sure. We are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Oh wait a minute. We need. We need. Um. Who for? I first. There uh, we go. Flow. Oh. Flo what? seconds it, right, Flo? Yep. I second it. Yep. She's she's it. It. <laughs> the whole night. We all say hi. We all say hi. <laughs>